Well, in today's uh, video, uh, we'll talk about the isometric projection under which uh, we'll see how to draw the circle. Because many times students uh, may mistake the uh, while drawing the circles in the isometric. So, so we will see how to draw the circles in the isometric. For example, let's draw. Uh, Similar thing, similar thing is 
first of all mark the center point center point then connect the center point which is middle point like this this will be the center point so p1 and p2 this is center this will be the center but so this is how the three sections can be drawn in the cube okay you know what uh, the shortcut trick or the how do we remember because uh, you need not to make some data of how to construct the circle you know what simply you need to remember one thing you need to remember one thing that if if i'm drawing a flower right so in that case how do i draw it like this so you know what you need to remember whenever you draw any kind of isometric in this right hand side plane the curve curve will look like this like left to the shape like this this will look like left hand side and this will be the horizontal way right so while constructing while constructing this simple circle ellipse is divided into four parts for example this this is the elliptical nature right so this is the one part okay this is the uh, this is the one part okay then uh, this will be the part number two this will be the third number and this will be fourth number you know what this complete ellipse is divided into four parts one two three four right one two three four so you know what if you carefully observe if you carefully observe I know, I know. I need to draw a circle like this, or ellipse like this, like this, and this one. So, so you know what? If I am dividing this ellipse into four parts, so this is this would be the B bar over here, this B bar over here, right? So this is the B bar. So the opposite of this is the center point. If this is another B bar, so its opposite point will be over here. Got it? So. What happens while constructing this ellipse? While constructing the ellipse, students may forget that where will be the center point, okay, and they will not be able to uh, construct the circle in the right way. So, how do you remember? How do you remember? For example, if you are expecting, if you are expecting, expecting to draw this ellipse like this, so for your information, part number one, two. Four, right. So this big arc, so definitely opposite point will be your center point. For this two, another big arc, there will be a opposite center point. And this small circle here you can see. Got it? See. So you have to remember where will be the big arc points. Okay. From that point, you connect the middle points. If you know this is the center point. You just connect this middle point, this middle middle point. Then this is the center point. You connect this middle point, you connect this point. After crossing, you get P1 and P2 and complete it. Okay. For this, for this, for this, this is bigger, this is bigger. So definitely, center point will be over here. This is another bigger, so center point will be definitely over here. So in this case, this point and this point will be together. We are centers. This will be center for this arc. This will be center for this arc. In this case, in this case, this will be C divided into four parts. This big arc, big arc. This is big arc, center over here. This big arc, center will be over here. So you know what? You don't need to make a rectangle in this case, but simply remember how to construct a circle. It will definitely help you to uh, draw isometric without any mistake. Thank you.